All right, Inbi, mm -hmm. a huge congratulations on an <laughs> Thanks. amazing year. <laughs> Thanks. I know last time, what is it, four years ago that you struggled a little bit. Mm -hmm. what, what changed? I mean, you played so amazing mm -hmm. this last few years. The major change was um, was meeting my husband and and he started working on my swing and I went through some major swing change in 2011 and um, it took about you know a year year or so to you know get used to it and then after I got used to the new swing I started playing really good um, striking the ball a lot more consistent and you know getting a lot of getting a lot of confidence and obviously um, you know meeting the loved one I'm feeling a lot more happier and I think that's been the biggest key so this <laughs> week you're coming back here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you already won it, but not with the status that you probably want. Mm -hmm. Do you feel extra pressure, or is the, how much does it would it mean to you to win this week when major status? Um, obviously, it's you know I'm going something different. I mean, something I never really uh, dreamed of being going for. Um, they call it Super Grand Slam, and you know I um, won this championship in 2012, and I have all that all that five trophies in my home. So you know I feel like you know I've you know reached all my goal, but you know they gave me a new goal to set and and obviously um you know winning in uh Evian another time will be you know very special i mean this is a, already a special place for me um this is the first time i've won with my husband um in Evian so it's um yeah it, it's a very special place so if i can win again that'll be you know so much more special okay when when one watches you and i played with you mm -hmm. but do you get nervous at all do you have any because your tempo is so perfect all the time and it's not, normally you see people getting a little bit, you don't seem to change. Do you feel anything when you're out there? You know, I think it's, you know, it's the thing, you know, once you get to experience pressure or nervousness a lot, you get used to the feeling and you know how to kind of deal with it. I mean, not how to deal with it, but just, you know, getting used to the feeling and not to panicking, you know, too much when you uh, feel the same way. So I think it's just all the experience that comes down to. If you would pick one strength, what do you say would be your strength? I don't know. I think I, I should say the patience, but um, just not getting too much emotional on the golf course and being calm has been the key to my success. Um, on the golf course, I kind of, you know, I kind of found that you know I need to be calm and I need to be, you know, not to be too emotional to, you know, play good golf. I think that's what I learned over the years. So here we are. So you're. Coming down the stretch here, how would you play the 18? What would be the ultimate way of finishing 18 for you? Um, you know, this you know became a par four since the course changed, and I mean it was um, it was if it was a par five, it would have been a lot easier on us. But it's just a par four, so I think a par would be a very good score on number 18th hole every day um, for any pin. I think. Um, you just don't want to be short and right, so um, no, that's true. <laughs> that's what you really need to think about. Um, even if you're just over the green, I mean, that's where you have to chip from. Well, Inbi, I wish you nothing but the best. I mean, you're such a deserving winner, and uh, and it's so fun to watch you on TV. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks.